Hello DJI fans, my name is Karina. And I'm Vince. Welcome to DJI Mavic Air Tutorials. In this episode, we're going to show you the awesome features of the DJI Go 4 app. If you haven't downloaded the DJI Go 4 app, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the App Store or Play Store and download. Okay, so let's take a look at the DJI Go 4 app. You're going to see a welcome screen. You can connect to your aircraft through the equipment menu. So if your Mavic Air is on, your aircraft will show up with an icon and you'll be able to connect. After you've taken some awesome footage, a proxy of your videos and photos are stored on your smartphone. You can use those to edit your media by going into the editor. You can bring a clip in, shorten the clip, combine clips, and put music on. There's also an auto edit template where the editor can automatically create a video for you. The next tab is the Sky Pixel tab. It's an online community where you can share your photos and videos with other enthusiasts and vice versa. It's pretty cool. The DJI Go 4 app also has some very useful features. There's flight record, which shows you data from your previous flights and some of your highlights, including your total flight time and distance traveled. With Find My Drone, you can have the app locate your drone after an emergency landing or crash, as well as turn on beeping and smart LEDs to help you spot it. Yeah, I might need that one. <laughs> and in Academy, you can find a lot of useful information, such as tutorials and manuals. You can also practice your flight skills in the flight simulator. And be sure to check out the flight restriction information before you travel, so you know if there are any no-fly zones where you're traveling. Tell us where you're going to next with your Mavic Air. Let us know in the comment section below, and we'll see you on the next one.